Alright guys, so this is my other baby that I have. It's a 1989 Jeep Cherokee and I've had this one for about like six to seven years. Now this one uh, was originally uh, a magazine build when my dad was building uh, with OMC Off-Road. That's his shop and he was helping Rick Payway build this. And I love the Jeep so then we ended up buying it off him. Now what you currently see today was um, not how it sat back then. And we threw, I don't know how much money into this one, and I continue to throw money at this one. Has over like $20,000 invested in it. Um, obviously it has 35 inch tires, pro comp rims, it has an OMC off-road suspension, OMC off-road steering, bumpers and everything else. It has a stroked motor, it has a um, racing bucket seats, it has all types of things. But currently I, it's not too, too drivable because um, the passenger, um, what is it called, ball joint has gone out, it's literally completely shot, so I got death wobble. For those who don't know who death wobble, what death wobble is, because it's basically like a Jeep thing when you start lifting it, the tire will tend to just shake itself apart. So I'm currently having to deal with that. So you're going to see me build this one bigger and better too as well. These are literally brand new tires, haven't even had them for like five months, so they still have a lot of tread on them. Super dirty. But we're gonna, you're gonna see the build on this one too as well. And I'm just gonna show you. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like right now. I literally have tape on this because the little um, like elbow thing popped off of it, so we just put tape on there for now so nothing can get in there. But as you can see, we have a cold air intake that we just uh, customly did. Um, it has a bored out throttle body, 62 millimeter. Then it has the um, throttle body spacer right there. It has an oil catch can and then it has a large throttle body and we upgraded the manifold to 1993 and this one's just all around stroke we have the double timing chain on it we have the comp cams cam in it we have the um so many different things on here that i can get around to pace setter headers um we just got, i gotta get around to it so this is what the engine bay look currently looks like right now it's kind of dirty just the whole thing's dirty right now Alright, so this is what currently the inside looks like. We got racing bucket seats in here. Um, we got a wink mirror, just uh, the painted interior, aftermarket head unit. Um, we're just still going through a lot of different things with this uh, this build. Um, I don't know if you can see back there, but we have the OMC off-road cargo tray. Um, we got the rock sliders. And basically, this is what the rear end looks like. We got the aftermarket OMC off road tail lights, the OMC off road uh, rear bumper. Um, I like the checkered look with the black and the red um, rims. I just overall think it's a really good looking car. All right, so now that you've seen a little bit of it, I'm gonna go just a quick over. And so you're just gonna see a really good build on this one too as well. I wanna turbo this one too. We already got the turbo for it. We just got to build the manifold, and so you're gonna see this one turboed, and you're gonna see the new axle get put into it, the front axle. And um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little cold start of what she sounds like right now, and so let's get into it. 